Hi everyone, this is your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Keep in mind the energies are fluid, so it can't go vice versa. Please don't get hung up on the signs or genders, okay? Um, everyone stick around. I got some free per personal readings coming your way. And um, I'll tell you how to do that in a moment, all right, you guys? Everyone's going to get three, and they're pretty amazing, so don't miss out, all right? Let's jump into your reading. Hi, Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And let's jump into your reading. Thank you guys for voting over there on the community tab. It means everything to me. Oh my God, you guys are making such a huge impact, such a positive impact in our ocean. And yes, we are trying to save the ocean. So if you guys want to support over there, I know it's all over the tab and you guys are like so annoyed, but it means a lot to me, you guys, okay? And um, thank you for all of you who are making contributions to that. That's, a, that's really selfless and loving of you guys, okay? Um, thank you for your love and compassion. All right, let's jump into your reading, Pisces. I heard if not us, who will? That's what I'm hearing. If not us, who will? Okay. I don't know why I'm hearing. Uh, just like that just came to me after I said that. So um, that does have to do with the, the contest, but it also has to do with like what's happening to our animals, the sea creatures. Okay. All of our um, our sea animals, you guys. I, I, don't know what's, I don't know what's going on with humans, but man, we need to get our shit together. Um, but I'm hearing if not us, who will? Okay. If not you, Pisces, who will? Okay. There's something that you have to do. Um, it could be something in your own life, okay? Let's go ahead and jump into your reading. I feel like it's your family, okay? So like breaking generational curses, creating generational wealth, something like that. Oh, yes, Pisces! What? You have the Seven of Cups. You could be confused, but this is also like a really good card to get because this talks about having a lot of options to the point where you don't know which way to turn. But you'll find the answer, Pisces, because I have faith in you guys. You will have... Some way to, um, you will get some sort of clarity. I feel like in your dreams, specifically your dreams, you will have something come to you. So you'll come to some sort of conclusion, okay? Okay, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, Knight of Swords in reverse. Wow, okay. A Death card. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, Pisces. Oh, someone is trying to cause confusion. Have you been experiencing headaches, Pisces? Emperor in, Emperor in the obstacle position. That's Aries. That's the head. You've been having experience, you've been experience. oh my God, or something with your throat chakra, your throat chakra, you have been having a hard time with communication, okay? I highly recommend you guys pick up some sodalite, okay? Sodalite, I don't know if that's how you say it, sodalite? Is it sodalite? Yeah, I think it is, it's sodalite. Um, it's for your throat chakra, okay? It looks like that, and there's also this one, this is actually the throat chakra symbol, okay? This is the throat chakra so, um, yeah, I'm hearing if you're having trouble with communication, um, some of you could be dealing with Gemini, but you don't have to be. Um, I don't want hearing somebody who's doing black magic on you. It's someone who has a, a, a severe mental illness. It's a woman. Okay. She's doing something on magic on you and you're experiencing headaches. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's keep going. Can you guys see the cards? Let me make sure. So you have the chariot in reverse. I feel like someone's trying to stop your money or stop you from being able to travel or something like that or stop you from getting like this vehicle or something. It's it's there's a lot of confusion in your life, okay? But you have clarity with the four of cups. This talks about um Okay. Oh wow. This person's wanting you to come to them for help. Pisces, there's someone who wants you to come to them for help, okay? What? This is so weird. Okay, so they're doing like magic on you because you don't need them. There's a lot of reversals here. You have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. You have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Chariot in reverse. Then you have the King of Swords in reverse with the Emperor in the obstacle position. Yeah, I feel like you're in this Emperor energy. And I feel like people around you or person, specifically an individual, they find you to be very alluring, also domineering. Because you guys are in your North Node, all right? The Ace of Swords is like giving me North Node, especially with the Seven of Cups. Also, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is, by you being in your North Node, it's opening doors. So it's causing confusion. I feel like around you or you're, you feel confused, but that is an illusion. You're not confused at all. Like you guys know exactly what you want to do. I feel like you're really good at multitasking too. You can have Gemini in your chart. If you're a Gemini Pisces, oh my God, get ready. Because I feel like, you know, I have Gemini and Pisces in my big three and... 
I get really distracted, but I'm also very focused at the same time, if that makes sense. Like I'm, all, I'm great at multitasking, okay? But I'm, as, as far as like speaking, it's really hard for me, okay? I may be, you maybe have a Gemini Chiron, I'm hearing for somebody. Gemini Chiron, okay, so, um, <laughs> that's so funny, because I have a Gemini Chiron, and I have a, I'm also a Gemini Rising, so, I'm, like, it, it's, like, <laughs> it's, like, balanced, but it's not, okay, I don't know what I'm hearing, like, somebody, so, something in your life is supposed to be really easy for you, Pisces, and someone is trying to make it really hard for you, okay, someone's trying to make it very hard for you, because you are getting something that they want, um, I feel like they lost a lot, I don't know what I'm hearing, this person lost a lot of shit, like, when one thing stopped working for them, a whole bunch of other stuff stopped working. So if this person lost a job, everything else they lost, okay? Something else, they lost their house, they lost their car, everything. I'm hearing they lost They lost a lot of shit. So they're just doing like magic on you. Yeah, with the Princess of Swords and the Death card and the obstacle, I'm sorry, the position how they feel about you. Oh my God, this person feels like you're cheating death. <laughs> Pisces, are you cheating death? Okay, like this person could have done like death magic on you. I know the devil is not here, but I'm getting like someone is doing magic on you. Okay, I feel it because like you've been experiencing headaches a lot lately and you never get headaches. Someone is like, I never get headaches. Why am I having a headache every other day now? Like right before you go to bed too. It's like right before you go to bed. You're like, holy shit. Why am I having like, what is this? What is this? And you like have to take a Tylenol and you don't even take pills. Someone, someone is like taking medicine or taking like a Tylenol or an Advil or a Motrin or um, an ibuprofen just to like take care of this headache. And I see you like taking two or four of them. I actually had a dream about this last night. Oh my God, Pisces. Are you having premonitions about a headache that you're going to experience or some sort of like spell casted on you? You're going to experience something, okay? You, you're having dreams about something that's going to happen in your life and then you're going to have deja vu the next day or the next week. Or this reading is deja vu. <laughs> Holy shit. Someone is saying this reading right here is confirmation. This reading. Oh my God. I literally heard you say that. I literally had a dream that you were going to say that. Holy shit. Like someone is like freaking out right now. <laughs> Comment if this is you. Comment right now because I am feeling the energy and you're just like, holy. You're like freaked out, but you're also like, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. <laughs> someone's like i am officially in a, a believer i believe in this shit this shit is crazy okay because i feel like someone is having dreams that they're being attacked by like their ops and also there's a lot of people exposing themselves all scorpio season this is all you've been experiencing all scorpio season because you have the death card here you could be dealing with the scorpio you don't have to be okay but I, but what i'm actually getting is like um you guys are feeling like <laughs> I feel like you're laughing at this shit. Okay, I'm serious. You're, you're laughing at this shit. Even if you're if you are experiencing some sort of frustration around what it is you need to be doing right now at this time, um, whether this be um, a business that you're trying to start up or if this is a, something that you, have, you it is ongoing. Maybe you're having trouble in something you're already doing, but it's like, why am I running into all these obstacles? I'm a fucking emperor. Why am I running into all these obstacles? You don't, you don't get it. Someone is trying to stop you, okay? Someone is literally spying on you. This Princess of Swords is someone who's stalking you. It could be a Scorpio, or they have Scorpio in their chart. I heard Scorpio Venus. <laughs> if that person has Scorpio in Venus, okay, you better watch out, okay? Because they're a lot of serial killers. Um, I'm just saying. They, they, the Scorpio aspects are very um, significant in the charts of many serial killers and i don't want to go there because i know someone's gonna get offended but don't it's 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 just science okay and i know i know astrology has not been recognized yet as science but that's a bunch of crap okay i'm serious they they need to step their game up okay because i feel like there's something you like we need to start reading people's charts before we even date them i'm serious because i see you like finding out about this person and not confronting them, but letting them think that they have you confused, okay? Because I see, like, you're very protected. Pisces, first of all, you're very, very protected. I feel like a Leo is protecting you with the Ace of Swords mirroring um, the Strength card. Although the Strength card is in reverse, I feel like, I don't know why I'm getting, like, the Strength card is, like, something that they're trying. This is intentional. Like, someone is trying to put you in this energy of not being strong enough. I'm, I'm not being transformative with the Death card in reverse, I feel like this person is doing some sort of mirror magic. 
and they're using your name and they could even be trying to look like you is what I'm also hearing, which is so strange. Yeah, because the, uh, the emperor is in the obstacle position. So I'm getting like, they're one of, they want your face. This person wants your face. Oh, what the fuck? They want to look like you, Pisces. They want your face or there's a specific feature on your face that they cannot stand, but they also cannot stop looking at. Like they hate that you look like this or they hate that you have this like feature. There's like something about your bone structure. It could be something surrounding your nose. I'm hearing your nose specifically because your nose is like the center of your face. Because Leo is the center, right? So I'm saying something about your nose. Like Pisces, what? You got a really cute nose or something? <laughs> Someone's like, I really like hate her. because <laughs> Like someone has, maybe this person has a really big ass nose or maybe you're insecure about your nose or this person is. Somebody's insecure about their nose. I don't know why I'm seeing someone chopping their nose off. <laughs> oh my God. Not Michael Jackson. Okay. I love Michael Jackson. I don't give a damn. And he was a Pisces moon. Pisces, are you worried about your nose? Stop. Leave your nose alone. Please don't start. Please don't do that. Okay. I don't want to go down the list of celebrities who did that and, and just look so much worse because of you guys, you probably don't know who they are. They were so beautiful before. Okay. Don't touch your face. Okay. Leave it alone. I feel like someone is going to say something too, to like plant a seed. Pisces. Oh my God. This person is planting a seed. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is what this is what people do when they're insecure about you. But they're insecure about you. Their insecurities about you make them say things to you to make you insecure about you when you have no reason to be insecure. You get what I'm saying? Like I feel like there's there's like this person's causing confusion in your life. They want you to be like scared. <laughs> they want you to be like, oh my god, uh, in the mirror all day. I knew if I had a friend like that who was always in the bathroom, always in the mirror, and it made me sad because she would always come out looking like. Her pit, like her face would always be indented. Like she would pick her face a lot and she would like mess with her eyebrows and her eyelashes. And it's like, you're beautiful. Like, what are you doing? Like, stop, leave her face alone. It's called body dysmorphia. I don't know if this is like what you have or this is what they have, but somebody really wishes they look like you, Pisces. And that really makes me sad when anybody, whenever somebody wishes they look like someone else, that makes me really sad because we are all beautiful in our own way, right? So I don't know. Like this is this is really, it's very low vibrational. Anyways, um, I feel like you got away from this person too. Like they're hoping and praying you come back, but I feel like it's just so I can so they can kind of like mimic you. I don't know. I feel like this person's trying to mimic you, Pisces. Like I don't want picturing someone go around and tell people like I'm a Pisces, but this person's really like a Gemini. Or they're um, an Aries, okay? I don't know. It's so weird. Like, I'm a Pisces. I'm a Pisces. No, you're not. But you can be. I mean, if you have Pisces in your chart, yeah. If you identify, like, as a Pisces, you can. Because, like, I identify as a Pisces. I have a lot of um, a lot of 12th house in my chart. A lot of, you know, Scorpio, too. I have Scorpio in there. But I'm mostly Leo, all right? I feel like you guys... Someone just wishes they had like your chart or they want to switch destinies with you. It doesn't even really have to be about your face. This could just be about your your stage presence. Okay? The way you carry yourself. Um, I feel like with the emperor, because you know the emperor is ourself, it's our identity. It could be just the way you move, the way you look, the way you talk, the way you lay like, something about you. It's about your individual individuality specifically that they're so honed in on. They can't help it either. Because I feel like there's a lot of people that watch you. Yeah, the Seven of Cups, again, it talks about options. So, like, a lot of people, a lot of options. Like, this could be about money. This could be about love. You have to, like, pay attention to this because you have love here. You have the rose at the top here, which talks about your garden, you know, um, the moon, your gifts, um, the eye, how you're protected. And then you have the snakes of transformation. Um, you have a lot of, like, abilities. And I feel like this is another thing they want you to be confused around is your ability. Um, because you are so attractive also it's like oh my god how how dare you be a, a sexy supermodel and be a, a rocket scientist like who the fuck do you think you are okay like oh my god shout out to ocean ramsey okay because she is a supermodel and an environmentalist and an advocate for sharks and she swims with sharks holy crap she swims with she was, i just saw a shark playing with her are you kidding me a, a great white i think it was a great white or what well, I don't I don't know what kind of shark it was. It could have been a tiger shark. I'm not really sure. Anyways, if you don't follow her, you gotta go follow her because she's amazing. And what she's doing is so she's the goat. Okay. 
Um, and her name's Ocean Ramsey. So she's like legit. Okay. <laughs> her name is Ocean. Um, you got to follow her on Instagram anyways. Anyways. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, she's very, and she's, a, and she's a supermodel. So I don't know. I'm getting like that vibe. Like you have that energy, like you have that, that aura about you, this aura, like where you carry yourself a certain way. And you also like, pr like you, you're practicing what you preach. And not only that, you have this heart, this pure heart. I feel like someone wants to stick a dagger through it. It makes me really sad, Pisces. Like somebody wants to take your light and put it in a box and shake it until there's no light left. You ever like, you ever like put a butterfly, oh my God. Like I feel like, I don't know why this person's like, put a, like a caterpillar or a butterfly inside of a box. Okay, when we were kids, I remember we used to watch them grow and stuff, but I don't know why I'm seeing like a kid take like an insect and take it and just put it in a, like a bottle and just shake it. That's what I'm seeing. Like someone, like a mean, like Sid character from Toy Story. <laughs> and they don't like you because you're so beautiful or you're so smart. There's something about you that this person finds alluring, but also repelling because they can't emanate this energy. They can't embody it. And this is why I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's so crazy too, because we don't have any queens here. So I don't know. For some of you, it could be masculines. Really, really. The masculines are really, really coming for you right now. You feel like they're being attacked by all the men in your life. You feel like you have no support from men in your life or something, Pisces. Or, oh, oh, okay. That's one. Okay, that's one storyline. The other one is this person is like really upset because no one is attracted to them. Five. Okay. The number five is significant. I feel like you're dealing with a Leo. Or you have Leo in your chart, okay? You have Leo in your chart. You don't have to be a Leo. You could have Aries in your chart. You know the signs don't really matter. You do have Scorpio here. Aquarius is here. Very strong energy around Aries and um, Pisces. We do have you here with the, the Knight of Cups. I do feel Gemini and energy with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in a position of how you're being seen with the chariot, which is Cancer. So this person could be on the cusp. I don't know why I'm hearing cusp, like Cancer, Gemini. All right. They don't have to be, but I don't, I don't really believe in cusp, but I'm just like, that's just so, I'm just trying to like help you identify this person. Anyway, because I don't believe in cusp, but I'll, I'll just say that because I know you guys probably like, you know, depending on who you are, you'd be like, oh yeah, they're on the cusp. They're on the cusp. I don't really believe in cusp. I, I look at charts, you know. Anyways, yeah, Pisces, I feel like this is someone who wants, wants attention, they want something that you have, they want something that, like, I feel like these are, because there's a lot of men here, I feel like this is because you're getting a lot of attention from men, and they're not, yeah, with this Princess of Swords, there's a lot of spying and watching you, and I feel like this person is not transforming, they're not, like, they're not transformative, their life has not been transformative, Something in their life did not go the way they planned, okay? Um, this is also my can't kill death card. You can't kill death. Death is death, right? And it says, I come alive in the nighttime, shapeshifter, alchemist, rising from the ashes, mystic, okay? I feel like you guys are the shamans, okay? The mystics. Um, I feel like, too, you might be doing something at night that's really, really beneficial, especially underneath a full moon. Um... But I get with this 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 um this card. I don't know. I'm seeing someone doing mirror magic under a full moon or using a mirror under yes. Oh my god. <sighs> trying to create um death in your life. And it doesn't have to be a physical death, but I feel like this is someone who's trying to cause an ending, but it keeps backfiring. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Their magic is backfiring because you are so protected, Pisces. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords in reverse too, and how you're being seen, it's like you're not fighting with this person. You have no interest in this person. You're not you're not going towards this person, you're not engaging with this person. And the chariot is in reverse too. So it's like you moved away from this individual. That's how you're being seen. So it could be a relationship, like this could be a friendship, this could be a lover, but whoever it is, they could be jealous around, they could there could be a lot of jealousy around your options that you have. Yeah, because they look at you too as like a missed opportunity. This is my missed opportunity card with the four of cups. And it's literally underneath the seven of cups. So like, I feel like you were their gateway. Like, I don't want to hear you were the door that was going to open more doors for this individual because you have a lot of doors opening for you. 
this person is stagnant. They can't grow anything with the death card in reverse. Like anything they plant, it just dies. It withers away. I feel like two plants, like if they have plants in their house, they can't, oh my God, this person, everything that they have dies. Animals, plants. I actually met someone who literally told me a cactus died on her. I was like, what? And this woman happened to be barren, by the way. This is like an omen. I'm telling you, when someone is barren and they can't produce anything, it's really, it's it's something in their genetic line specifically tied to their karmic path, like their karmic ancestors, okay? Their ancestors that are, were karmic. Um, something one of their ancestors did, um, it's, it's like they're paying a price for something. I don't know, like, I feel like, I, I, I swear to God, I met someone like this and they couldn't, they told me I can't grow anything. Cause I, you know, I plant something and it just grows for me. I swear to God, I plant seeds all the time, man. I can plant a seed right now. I plant, I planted the lemon trees in my grandma's yard. The lemon trees in my grandma's backyard. I, I ate a lemon, took the seed out of the lemon and planted it in the ground. I shit you not, it grew. Sure did. She still has that lemon tree till this day and it bears fruit. And she's a Virgo, so... She's a Virgo Leo cusp. Again, I don't believe in cusp, but um, yeah, lemon tree in her backyard. <laughs> and I planted it when I was like 12. Yeah, I was 12 years old. I'm 36 now. It's been there forever. It's been there since I was 12. And I remember it. I remember planting it in the ground. How beautiful is that? It's amazing, right? Anyways, um, I feel like this is someone who genuinely just does not know their way around a garden. They don't know how to nurture one, nurture one, let alone um, plant seeds, you know, or water them. Or, or they water them, but they don't know what, like, how to water them. This person can have all the tools, and they still don't know how to use them. They don't know what to do with them. You can have all the resources in the world. You could come from money, but if you don't know how to do shit, you ain't shit. Okay, and I feel like this person is mm, sorry, but um they're hating on you and it's like why when you could just be focusing on your own and figuring out how to make your own why don't you focus on that instead of hating on me like i don't understand that why don't you just go do some research and f like this person's researching you it's like why don't you go do your own research around whatever subject you want to learn whatever topic it is you're trying to gain you know what i mean interest in whatever you're trying to do just don't go do it like i don't understand why you're focused on me oh because you're trying to mimic me that's right, because you want to look just like me. Oh, that's right, because you want to be just like me. That's what they're doing. They want to be just like you. And they can't. Their destiny is already picked out. <laughs> I feel like I don't know why. I don't know why I just saw someone's mom throw their clothes on the bed. Like, those are what you're wearing today. <laughs> and don't argue with me. <laughs> someone's mom still picks out their clothes. Like, this could be a mama's boy for someone. She picks out his clothes, girl. Like, what? Others of you, this is a jealous friend, still living at her mama's house, still in at, still living at his daddy, her, her daddy's house. And you know, it's not nothing wrong with that. I mean, I wish I could still be with my, I wish I could still live with my parents. I, I swear, I wish I could live with them. You know, so I mean, but it's like someone who wishes that. You know, it's what's that saying? You know, you always want what you don't have, right? So this person is always looking at you, like, God damn, will you just go and be who the hell you are? <laughs> I feel like they're amazing too. This is someone who can who can be a lot. They can be amazing if they want to. They can be the best version of themselves and they can inspire so many people, but they choose to keep on staring at you and judging you. And I'm even seeing like, um, like if they do come in contact with you, this is someone who will say something about the way you look. Like this, that, I don't like that. I don't like those kind of people who are like, you know, you would look better like this or you would look better like that. I can't stand those kind of people. Don't, well, um, you know what you would look better doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me stop. <laughs> no, but they're like, it's like they're, they act like they're experts and shit. And like, it's funny because it's like, why, how you comment on someone's looks is so mundane. It's like, how you even, like, do you ever really hear yourself? Oh, you would look better like this. You would look better like that. Oh, I don't really like that color on you. Like, who cares? Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you ever really heard yourself? Like, if you talk like this to somebody, have you ever heard yourself say that? Like, and you're like, wait. Why did I say that? That was so stupid and mundane. Like, who cares? It's frivolous. Anyways. 
I feel like you guys are in your power with the seven of cups here. It, it does feel like you guys could be scared or struggling with something here, or you feel like you're missing out. Oh, I'm hearing FOMO. You're not missing out, Pisces. You have everything you need is what they're telling me. Um, what you know also is what you know. So like, if you feel like, like, here's the thing, like, I don't know what I'm hearing. Like if something is, if you have no answer for something, if you don't know if you should do something, then don't do it. If you don't know if you should trust someone, don't trust them. Period. You know what I mean? Be it, you know, act accordingly. Because I, I don't know, if you don't have the answer for something, just don't do it. Don't invest in it. Don't, don't, um, don't focus on it. All right. I'm going to get one Oracle message for you guys. And then we're going to head out of here. And you know what? I went way past my time. Because <laughs> I get lost with you guys. I get lost. Anyways, if you guys want to vote for me, you guys can over there. That's the first link in the second row in the description box. Okay. Yes, there's two different rows now. I don't know why they did that. It's so confusing. <laughs> but it's the first link, you guys. If you want to vote and you want to support Oceana to help save our... It's not just to save and clean the ocean, you guys. It's to help the species that are all endangered. Um, there's a lot of endangered species like dolphins are on the endangered species list. Great white sharks are on the endangered species list. Hun humpback whales, you guys, are on the endangered species list. So every time you vote, every time you donate to that, that you'll be helping Oceana save the ocean, protect the ocean, all right? So go ahead and support that if you guys have the means to. I mean, I really, really appreciate it. And I'm keeping track of all the names, you guys, okay? Um... Uh, if you would like to take advantage of your free personal readings, that's down below. That's the second, third, and fourth link, you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know, okay? <sighs> what do we have? Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I feel like they want this too. They wish they were, they wish they were inspiring like you, Pisces. Someone has very low self-esteem. See how the cards just, they come out, they just do what I tell them. <laughs> You see what I did? They did this. Do what I tell you to do, okay? Just do what I tell you to do. I don't know. See, this person watches you. They study every move. Yeah. Um, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and the others. Um, and of others. You know, Pisces rules the soul. Pisces rules the soul. You are the ancestor. Um, you are the soul, Pisces. Yes. You are you're an old soul. You guys are great 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 you're like the mayans you're the mayans okay i heard pallades pallades how do you say pallades uh anunnaki yeah you guys are old souls man you guys have been around since the beginning of time you are the gods i feel like you guys are the gods all right i know some people might argue that virgo is you know one of the gods you know they are ruled by mercury um god of hermes okay Virgo and Gemini, but like I feel like Pisces is the god of gods. Pisces is the god of gods, the god. Of course. Also, Leo, because Leo is a solar plexus. Anyways, I love you, Pisces. I hope you guys found this to be at least entertaining if it wasn't um, resonating, if it doesn't resonate, or if it doesn't um, provide you with much insight, if you didn't find that it was very useful. I hope it was at the very least entertaining, okay? I love you guys so much, you guys. I hope you had a very wonderful holiday and enjoy your weekend. Namaste.